This is tutorial 2-3 in GIS Workbook 2. In this tutorial we're going to be exploring uh, map series. These are basically comparison maps. Uh, we've done them in the past, but this is more uh, a few tricks that we're going to learn to make things go quicker and also how to keep them better organized. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is open up our tutorial map, which is 2-3. And once again, we're going to be working in a county of Texas. Uh, the first thing they're going to have us do when it loads is open up the properties for the census block data. And we're going to be in symbology. And we're going to be going into quantities. And we're going to be dealing with population. So we're going to choose that as our field value is uh, POP2000. Be sure not to choose POP2004 or your maps won't look like mine. Uh, once that's done, we're just going to hit OK. Um, if your map doesn't have, uh, you don't have to have these colors, but I just did them because that's what the book uses. So it's kind of easy to compare this map with what's in the book. Um, if you can do that with other colors, feel free to use other colors. Uh, the first thing they want us to do is uh, kind of, after doing this, is to fix up the title. Uh, they want us to double click on this right here. And the main focus of this map is not the county. Uh, the location is actually secondary. So the main focus of this is 2000 total population. So that's what we're going to name it. And with all titles, the first letter in each word of major words should be capitalized. And of or those don't have to because they're minor words. Uh, so with that done, we're just going to click OK. And then we're going to go up here. We're going to insert another title double click it to go into its properties and we're just going to type in the county name and the state and then we're just going to click OK and we're just going to make put it under here um, it doesn't have to be exactly lined up because uh, we're going to do that a different way and with it highlighted we're going to go on our draw toolbar which is right here if it's not here you just want to go up to customize toolbars and it's this one right here but uh so make sure that one is highlighted go up to here this is this will control the font and as you can see it changed it now what we're going to do is you're going to hold down the shift button and you're going to click on the other title you're going to right click you're going to go down to align and you're going to align center and then we're just going to bring it back over here and now the bottom title is centered with the top title okay with that done we're going to convert this into a PDF or in a JPEG um, you just do that by going to file export map and just give it a name, um, just call it 2000 pop. And I'm saving it to the desktop because after this is done, I'm going to open them up and we're going to compare them because we're going to be making two other maps. Okay, now with that done, what we're going to do is we're going to come down here, we're going to right click census blocks, and we're going to copy it. Then we're going to click on the layer. We're going to paste the layers. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to make a map showing the Hispanic population of this county. Now, the, how we're going to do that is we are going to right click on, first click on this. And we can change it here to say Hispanic population. 
or you could double click and change it in general. Either one works. Uh, then for symbology, what we're going to do is normally what we would do is we'd come down here, we choose Hispanic, but what that would do is it would change all these numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to import and we're going to import it from another layer, but the only layer that it will allow is census block group, which is this one down here. And that's what we want, so we're going to click OK. Then it'll ask us what value field it wants. And this is where we choose Hispanic. We're going to click OK. And as you can see, the values for Hispanic match those of total population. So we're going to click OK. And as you can see now, we're just going to turn off the census block group. That way it gets out of the legend. Um, minimize it so it's not distracting us. And as you can see now, we have a map showing Hispanic population in this county. And, but we're not done yet, because if we were just to convert this to a map, this map title would be wrong. So what we're going to do is we're just going to double click on that and change total to Hispanic. And then we're going to click OK. It centers itself. And we're done with that. All we have to do now is we have to export it as a... It's always important, a uh, side note, is uh, to always include the year that the census data was taken. Um, that's just so people know. If you look at a map and it just says the Hispanic population, you know, it could be from like 1950. Who knows? So it's always important to know where your data is coming from and from when and to be able to put that on the map. So we're going to export this as a JPEG also. I'm just going to change it to Hispanic. And there's a year turn where they want us to do this with uh, the black population. And this one will be much, even probably a little bit quicker because we don't have to do the copy and paste. We're just going to double click on Hispanic population. We're going to go to general. We're going to change it to black population. Symbology, we're going to import. Census block again change it to black, OK, and our values match exactly the other two maps. So we're going to click OK again. And as you can see, the map's changed again. So we just have to change the title. To suit what we're seeing, then we go to File export our map save this one and now what we're going to do is we're going to minimize this, those we're going to open up our three maps I'm going to try to get them to where we can see the best that we can with all of them um, it's going to be a little bit difficult because my monitor is not that big. Now, as you can see, you can now compare these two different maps with the total population. As you can see where there's areas of high black populations, there are large populations. So you can kind of see that the majority of this population here is most likely black. Uh, the same with Hispanics in this area here, because right here it has a high population but it also has a very high population Hispanics, so they must make up a majority of the people there. These maps could be useful in providing services to certain minority groups um, or any other things. And you can also do this with age. Um, 
you can go through the ages, you can do a map showing the population of elderly people or young. So you could do uh, best locations to place el um, homes for the elderly or school programs for children. So this is an easy way of doing multiple map series and as you can see it happened very quickly. So by importing you save a lot of time so you're able to do a lot more maps in less time and have more comparison. And that's it for this tutorial.